Hello, my name is Mohammed. It is time for researcher Jukan. In this program, we introduce the researchers all over the university. Today's our researcher is Dr. Mohammed Shahid Rashid Buya from Shari Bangla Agricultural University. Nice to meet you. So let's start the interview. First of all, could you tell me what kind of research do you mainly focus on? Well, uh, I am Dr. M.D. Shohidu Roshid Bunya from Shere Bangla Agriculture University. I am working actually on uh, Brassica species, particularly Oliferous Brassica species. All the three species, Brassica napas, Brassica juncia and Brassica campestis are being used in my research field and my main focus is mostly on improvement of the wild brassica wild seed. Why do you focus on the research? Well, uh, in Bangladesh, the mustard variety actually matures in a very long period of time, particularly it takes 120 days to mature. But our farmer cannot provide such a long period of time. They require really a very short uh, variety, like some variety of 80 days to mature. And we are actually working to produce some varieties that can mature within the stipulated time and will be able to produce higher yield. How do you carry out the research? Well, what, what I do, I just collect the uh, genetic resources from different research institutes and then I evaluate them and finally cross between them as per my objective and the materials are grown over the field for several generations and ultimately some desert plants are being selected. What is your motivation towards the research? In fact, the objective is to develop a high yielding and short duration variety and I do all my research work and concentrate this in, in this direction. What kind of resources can you give to other researchers? Well, I have the uh, genetic resources that I really work on. I can share the knowledge and even the techniques that I do follow for my research work. And we, we can also share some human network or equipment or like this. Could you tell me more about this? Well, as I have already developed a variety through interspecific crosses between Brassica napas and Brassica repa, and as there was some sterility in F1, and then I improved them by selection and of course by chromosome elimination event, and ultimately I developed some of the materials that were really very nice and they mature very early and have more yield than the previous ones. Is there any other resources you can give? Well, I, I don't think any more because uh, we haven't really so uh, sophisticated equipment at present in our institute. Still then, the knowledge and the experience that I have uh, gathered from my research work can share with other, other researchers. Is that all of your resources? Uh, so far I think. These are the real resources. Very nice. What kind of research are you going to plan in the future? Well, uh, my future plan is to develop a variety that will mature within a short time and that will be saline tolerant or drought tolerant as many of our lands are now drought prone and of course affected by the salinity. That's interesting. Could you explain it more? Well, what I do really like to do, we have a Brassica jansia species of wild seed that is resistant to drought and of course with uh, salinity, but they do not produce enough yield. So my intention is to transfer the genes from Brassica jansia species to the Brassica repa, which is more yielder than the Brassica juncia 
and if I can transfer the gene from Brassica juncea to the Brassica repa, then my objective of producing saline and drought resistant variety will be fulfilled. What makes you to do the research? Well, a commitment to the nation. As uh, we know, only research can develop something for the country, for the agriculture. And as we are a citizen of this country, we always do want to develop something new that can better nourish our people. What will happen if you complete the research in the future? Well, it will actually enhance our economy and our farmers will get higher yield and of course they will be benefited economically and as well the country. What kind of resources you want to take from other researchers? Well, we want to have some knowledge, uh, we want some techniques and of course we need some more genetic resources. That is very important for us as we have no double zero line so we need some genetic resources from other countries and we need some equipment and of course some human network facilities and etc. Let me focus a little more about this. Well, as you know, uh, we, 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 our varieties are high uh, erucic acid content and we have no genetic resources that can be utilized to reduce the erucic acid. If we can have some material from other countries that are really low in erucic acid or zero in erucic acid, then we can utilize it in our breeding program and can develop some of the lines that will be zero in this picture like this. Is there any other resources you need? Well, we have a lack of uh, improved equipment that we can have to carry out further research or even uh, work at the molecular level. Could you carry out your future research on Brassica species? Yes, I, I, do, I do think that we should carry out because we are now in the middle of the work and we want to finish some of the objectives and we will carry out the research work in the future. Why will not you work on other species? I have some work on other species even, but I do spare much time in, in, in Brassica breeding. I have some other experiment on brinjal and I have some um, experiment on, on diesel gold or like this. So I have some other research also, but I want to focus on wild seed because we are very much deficient in wild seed in our country. Why uh, do you focus on the wild seed? Wild seed? Yes. Because, uh, uh, we, as I mentioned, we, we are deficient in, in wild and we have to really import uh, 70 percent of the wild for our country so we need to meet our demand at least uh, by our own resources and by our own production that's why I want to spare much time in research particularly in wild seed. Could you explain it more about wild seed? Well as you know mustard is, is very important uh, crop wild seed crop uh, of our country and if we want to improve the yield and if we can even improve 20% of the yield of our crop then we can reduce the uh, import cost and that will help our nation and economy. Thank you very much. It is time to finish. Today's research sir was Dr. Mohammad Shohidrushit Bhuja. Thank you very much again. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.